how's it going guys? Running off the reliable inverter still, still doing the reliability testing. Everything seems really good so far. Oh, my little guy's sick. It's too bad he's there. Jumping on the jumper. Crazy man, they grow so quick. Get some energy out before he goes down for another nap. Let's see here, we got energy over time. So this is today so far. I've only used 9.4 kilowatts because it's cloudy. We are gone for a bit of it today. But let's go down all the way to, see what we made yesterday. Yesterday was about the same, cloudy, so we weren't doing too much. Let's go April, yep, same thing. April 6th, April 5th. Now we had a sunnier day, so we're using more power. So, April 4th, 36 kilowatts. There, my family was still over. We had some people over, anyways. We made a lot, used up a lot more power that day. Let's go third. Oh, focus on you. Come on. There we go. What did we use say? This was 16 kilowatts. 25 kilowatts. This is this has all been off the reliable. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna come get ya. All right, pick the poor little guy up. Sick. Now he's laying on the bed with mom for a second. We got 15.28 kilowatts on April 1st. What's this now? Well, this is only 7.8. Looks like we, oh yeah, that was night time, so we used almost nothing. Wow, we, we used almost nothing that day. That's pretty good. April 1st, I wonder if we're out. Oops. Ah, oh, crap, now I gotta go. All the way through this again. There we go. Use seven that day. There we go, 21. March 30th. Here we didn't use hardly anything. Looks like we, oh no, we were off grid. Guess we slept in and just didn't use anything for a lot of the day. This is when we probably had people over and we we're gaming late at night. Let's see here. Okay. When everybody's over, obviously we had a sunny day, so we, we just used tons of power. We did laundry, off-grid, so we were pulling three and a half kilowatts power for like three or four hours there. Let's see here. There's another 33 kilowatt day. Let's see. This is all when my family was over. 36.4 kilowatt day. This is all on the AC side. Too, so DC side it would have produced more power. Let's see here. We're off grid. I think I only went on grid for one day when everybody was here. And that's because we had a cloudy day and we just had so many people were using so much power. So that's what we've been making. 8.1. That was probably the day before they showed up, most likely. And yeah. This app is really nice. I do like this a lot. So this is what we're using now. Dishwasher's running. <coughs> it's either dishwasher. Yeah, that's a dishwasher. Plus whatever else is on in the house. This is the Nero uh, Home Monitor. It's a really nice uh, app. It's pretty expensive, but I mean, it works well. It looks like I'm going to be on the Nero app. So this is my solar. I'm going to be saving $204 this month. That's nice. That's this right here. Everything down here is so inaccurate. I don't even know why it's here. I don't know. It's like it doesn't update. My always on is a lot higher than 162. Or maybe that's just minimum on. I don't know. Anyways. It's a great app. Just thought I'd share it with you guys. Well, guys. I got my new eSmart 3 in the mail, the 60 amp model. It was quite a bit bigger than the 20 and the 40. I thought they would just use the same case and put more stuff in it, but nope. They got a new case for it. And luck 
I just don't seem to have good luck with these things, man. So here's the inside. Let's see if I can situate this so I'm not pulling on the wires too much. Okay. So we got our MOSFETs. There. What's in here? We got a few more. We got this little thing for directing the airflow. Little fan. Everything doesn't look too bad except for this. The mounts are broken all the way around this transformer, so obviously broken shipping or something. Why wouldn't they put some sort of glue around this? Like, this is a big transformer for this little unit. Quite heavy. Ugh, how disappointing. I don't even know if it's still soldered to the board or what. I don't know if I should hook this up. I already sent uh, an email uh, stating, like, I, I, where's the piece of the plastic? This is just a few of them. I pulled these out of the garbage. Like, I was shaking this over the garbage because pieces of this was coming out. So, yeah, if they could just get the quality control down pad, or maybe it's not, it's more shipping in this, in this uh, instance, but I mean, they know it's coming from China. Like, it's going to go halfway around the world just to get to me, so they should stink and put glue everywhere. Hmm. Like, look at these caps. Like, I'm putting this in my work trailer. These are going to just wiggle and fall off eventually. These ones aren't too bad. I'm going to put hot glue around all this stuff so it can't move. Hey, hey, hey. Definitely, well, apparently this is the one that gets hotter. It's got the the thermistor on it. Hmm. I can see where the transformer actually rubs the board. Right there. Rubs the board. A little bit of solder it's gotta come off. Solder all over the place. So they definitely have some uh, quality control issues. When these work, they work awesome though. Like I really like my 40 amp that's in my house trailer I like it a lot there's just so much you can do with this you can customize it completely to run any battery you, you want but uh, yeah that's pisses me off and you gotta wait so dang long to get these things and then they, they come and they're broken so this is broken I'm probably gonna put some glue on that too even if they give me a discount I'll be happy uh, even though like the average person, you get this, you don't know, the pieces all fall out. You put this in your vehicle, like my that trailer bounces like crazy. This would fall off for sure because I'm going to mount it in an upright position. This charge controller really should be mounted flat so this doesn't wiggle loose. Same with these. Sticking phone won't focus. Like, I'm barely pushing on these things, guys. Anyways, let's get hot gluing. All right, so I got the hot glue on. Everything is much better now. It barely, like, barely moves. We got hot glue on the transformer that's still hardening. And as long as the transformer hasn't disconnected, we should be okay. We'll see. Anyways, let's hook this baby up. How's it going, guys? It's going off grid again. We got another cloudy day. This is almost three in a row. I got sun a little bit yesterday morning, and that's about it. I'm going to install the eSmart 360 uh, amp. Let's see if the trailer's unlocked because we have the 40 amp in there, and I'm going to compare size here. Oh, it is unlocked. Perfect. Okay, so there's the 40 amp. Oh, the 60 amp's a lot bigger, as you can see. It doesn't look it. It's it's uh, thicker too, so it is bigger. Okay, good to know. Let's see what we're making here. We're fully charged, we're just pulling in a maintenance charge. Anyways, all right. So, my daughter just knocked over the heater. No. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> so these are the heaters, or not the heaters, the charge controllers. This is the one I'm replacing with. And yeah, this one could do about 400 watts. This one can do about 3,000 or 4,000, I can't remember. It does a lot more. Here we go. All right, so we're moving on to the custom voltage setting for this thing. Look at 
trading a lot. I don't know if that's because something got damaged inside or if that's just the way these things run or what, but going crazy a little bit. Got me a 1500 watt heater heating my backside, running off the reliable. And uh, time to set some parameters. Well, we did it. We got the new charge controller hooked up. Bouncing around a lot in wattage. It's not uh, sure exactly why, but I think it's just because we're that low on uh, solar coming in right now. I only got two panels in series right now. I don't think that's enough. This is a 150 volt model. I can go up to, it says right here on the side. So I might go four. I'm gonna go look at the specs of the panel right now. I might change it from two to four and see how that works in series. All right, we're on the roof of the trailer. We're gonna put all four in series and see how that works because uh, two in series, the 37.9 volts open circuit each. So at least the summer it should be okay. The winter they might go too high in voltage, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it works with four in series. Now we got the panels hooked up in series. Let's see what's going on here with panel voltage, PV voltage. Eh, something's funky still. Why is it so low? Maybe because it's trying to draw too much. Yeah. I'll have to check it tomorrow when the sun's out. But I got all the panels in series and we're still only making this. So you know what? Two might be better. It, when the when it's cloudy out for this charge controller it does not seem to do good at low power now we have less power coming in than before oh well we'll have to see I thought uh, maybe uh, maybe two panels in series was too uh, little voltage for an MPPT but you know what it could be wrong might have to change it back tomorrow